What's up guys, Jerry here, East Tennessee DIY, and today I want to show you our two tether climbing system. Um, it is upgraded from the version that you saw, if you saw it, uh, on the Amstel climbing video I did last year or two years ago. Uh, I've been working with Josh Mills on uh, a leg loop uh, that I'm going to show you here in a second. Uh, that actually works out really well, makes climbing a lot easier and actually a little more efficient. So I'm going to show you that. Uh, I use it a little differently than he does. Josh uses his uh, propel rope as his main tether for climbing. Um, it kind of downsizes things that way. I've actually included it into a uh, ultralight hunting pack. Um, in this pack, I have everything I need to hunt. I'm going to go through that. Uh, after I show you the leg loop stuff so you'll see everything that I'm carrying this is everything I need to climb any tree I need to in the woods set up and hunt other than water and a weapon so the way I'm using this two uh, this two tether climbing system the first part is the leg loop this is something that I had actually made uh, a dual leg loop system for a saddle to kind of emulate the Evo a little bit uh, I didn't like leg loops in that application. Josh is a big fan of it. He's a big Evo fan. Uh, so I sent him off to him to play with it that way. And we started talking about this uh, this two tether climbing method. Um, he sent it back to me with the uh, hopes that we would split it up, uh, make two separate loops, and uh, practice climbing with it. So um, that's what we did. And this is what we ended up coming up with. This I wear in. So it's got an elastic band. goes on your thigh has a little clip holder for your carabiner so that's worn in uh, the second part is the foot tether this one is 1-8 full buried am steel six foot long has a foot loop on the bottom and that has a whoopee sling because tree sizes are different so as you are climbing uh, as you get to a different tree you might need to make that a little smaller or bigger but the tether is fixed, so you loop that around the tree, and that's your foot loop. And then the third part is the main tether. So this is a 7 foot 3 16 am still full berry tether with a stopper knot and a loop on the other end. Uh, I'm not using a carabiner or a D-link or anything like that. I'm just looping it right through, just looping it right through around the tree. It holds, it doesn't fall, uh, works out good for me. Um, on here you have a long Prusik, for me this is also 3 16 uh, not full buried am steel, this is 22 inch loop that I'm using as my leg loop Prusik, and then my main saddle Prusik is 1 8 full buried uh, Prusik knot, this is a 9 inch loop, so it's a little bit shorter, a little closer down to me, uh, where I'm hooking into my saddle. And that is the climbing system in itself right there, so you have basically three parts. You have your main tether, you have your foot tether, and you have your leg loop. whole thing weighs right at a pound, a little less than a pound. Um, nothing to put, you can put it in the pocket, small pocket on your pack. Uh, works out really good. The reason, the way I'm using it is uh, with all am steel, uh, the lightest materials I can use other than the carabiners, because this is all part of my ultralight kit, which I'm going to show you what I'm using here. So carry some cheap white Home Depot knee pads. I carry a 1 8 amp steel 7 foot long daisy chain and that is for getting around branches and, and things like that. So I'll loop that around a branch, clip my saddle in, unclip my main tether, move it around and just keep climbing. So I'm not, I'm not uh, limited to any particular tree, to straight trees or trees with no branches, I can use that. Uh, carry a carabiner around for that. I got my platform, which is a ring of steps. Um, so I like the width of these tree hopper steps. They're wide and they really lock down. I like to tread on them real good. I also like the squirrel steps. Um, they're very light and compact. So I've got five steps here total. And the way I have it set up when I'm in the tree is my squirrel steps are towards the back of the tree and my three uh, tree hopper steps are up front. And those are the main ones that I'm standing on unless I need to move around the tree. There's my platform. Uh, also carry 35 foot of Bothlux with a with a D-link, so I always rappel down. It's just the safest way to get down. It makes good sense to me, so I'm willing to carry the extra weight for that. That's the majority of the weight right there. Uh, 
Madrock Safeguard with Carabiner, repel device. Kill kit with gloves. I use these real reflective tags uh, as I'm if I'm walking a trail, a blood trail, so I can mark along my blood trail. Uh, knife, extra blades. It's one of those uh, outdoor edge knives. A pair of gloves. I don't know what that looks like, but it's actually just rolled up toilet paper. Got my haul rope. Now I've got my gear hook. And my gear hook is zing it line, six foot. Uh, I use it just like you would a cis, uh, cis hauler or anything like any other gear strap. Uh, wrap it around the tree and that little hook is just to hook into my next eyelet to make it tight. And then I use uh, night eyes s beaners to hang everything off of, except for my bow hanger. And I actually used one of these as a bow hanger for my recurve last night and it actually works out really well. So I think I'm going to end up going with that and cut a little more weight. So that's everything in my kit. Um, like I said, total of just less than five pounds. And all I'm missing is my bow and arrows. Um, if I need a jacket, I can throw it in. I'm not, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not set on this pack yet. It's just something that I had. I might try to find something that's a little quieter. I don't like the zippers in the woods. They're a little loud. But that's my ultralight kit. And now we're going to go over to the practice tree. And I'm going to show you how I set this up and how I climb with it. But I'm not going to climb high because the camera won't seem to go all the way up. I'm not going to repel down. I'm just going to show you how the system works. It's actually really super easy to use. I'm a fat old guy and I can get up a tree no problem with this, get around branches no problem. And I'm not carrying sticks, I'm not carrying steps, I'm not carrying anything, a platform. It's really nice to be able to just throw these on a tree, climb up. And it's actually surprisingly quick and efficient. And you will see that in the next segment of this video. Thanks. Alright guys, so we're out here at the practice tree. Uh, don't have a very good camera, so I'm having to yell at the camera, so bear with me here. But I wanted to show you exactly how I'm walking in the woods. This is it, except for carrying my bow and my arrows. Uh, I'm wearing one knee pad, because that's the knee that goes against the tree when I'm climbing. I'm wearing the leg loop. Uh, I've got on the two panel saddle that I just did the three part series on building it. So make yourself one of these. This thing has been awesome. Uh, love this saddle over all the other ones, so this is my go-to now like the adjustable bridge on it. I like the way it connects in the back. Yeah, so everything's riding up high, nothing's loose and hanging, and I just, I just don't like that. Nothing's bouncing around when I'm walking in the woods. I'm just walking like this. So now I'm gonna move the camera a little bit closer so you can actually see me setting these things up. I'm gonna do one or two iterations of the fine. I'm not gonna go all the way up because I'll get out of the camera frame, but I want you to see how the system works. So, So I walk into my tree and the first thing that's going to go up is my main tether. Basically just looping it around the tree. My main tether, I get up as high as I can and I keep it center of where I'm going to climb it. Then next up is the foot tether. tether I set off to the left because that's the foot I use to climb with in the foot tether. I also put the, the foothold about hip high because my initial step with, is with my knee and that gets me up to this height. With that I'm ready to climb. Uh, so 
Josh Mills, uh, Red Beard over on Saddle Hunter. He uses his uh, rappel line to climb with. And what he's doing is with his long Prusik, he's actually eliminating that Celtic knot. If, you, uh, if you've seen that video, we did a Celtic knot that holds your tri-link in place when you're using your rappel rope. So what he does, he took the Celtic knot off and he uses his Prusik to push up against it and hold it in place. So it actually, uh, you know, killing two birds with one stone and it works out really well, really smart way to do it. Uh, since I'm using Amstil, it doesn't slip on me. Uh, it grabs the tree really good. Um, I don't have any problems with it, so I don't use that. And I'm able to bring my uh, leg loop Prusik down a little bit. So just like that, I'm ready to start climbing. I just need to set my saddle up. And what I do is I just, reach behind me, pull my clip off, drop my panel down, and I open up my bridge loop just a little bit. So what's nice about an adjustable bridge loop is once I get through my initial setup and climb, I can actually draw that in a little bit to bring myself up a little bit. Um, but once I get that initial adjustment made, I'm not adjusting anything as I'm climbing. It's the same setup the whole time. So now I'm going to show you how it goes. So first thing I do is pull the leg loop out and I will move the loop up my leg a little bit. To connect that to the Prusik, the long Prusik. Be sure to tighten up your screw gate. You don't hear popping. I'm on a kind of a difficult tree to climb here. And then I'm ready to hook in my tether or my bridge. Tighten that up. So with that, I'm ready to climb. So I will dig my toe in, I will step up on the thigh loop, put my foot into the foot loop, and move up. Then you leg lock around the tree, and that frees up both hands. down in the saddle, take your foot out, move your foot loop up, you ready to do the whole thing over again, kick off, step up, put in the loop, stand up. Climb it down is the same thing, just in reverse. I'm going to leave that last little bit in there just because this is real and I'm doing it all in one take. I'm just taking everything apart.
I'm sure. That's it, ready to go.